the brand new continuity camera feature for iPhone and Mac is a huge deal, especially for video content creators and podcasters. Before, everyone was using their webcam, especially if they were recording online content. Well, now everyone can use their iPhone as their webcam and you're gonna get high quality video much better than built-in webcams without any third-party applications or even cables needed. And if you use something like Riverside to record your online content, you can get that high quality video recorded locally from everyone that's on the call. So now you can encourage your remote guests to use their iPhone for their video camera to get great quality and it'll work right inside Riverside. To compare, here's the video quality of the built-in webcam on a 14 inch 2021 MacBook Pro. One of the better webcams that Apple puts in their laptops, but still it pales in comparison to the iPhone video quality. And this is recording directly in Riverside right now, and this is the quality you can expect. I'm using continuity camera, no cables, connecting my iPhone to my Mac, recording directly in Riverside. Also, if you previously sent tech kits to your potential guests and interviewees, that can be pretty expensive. And also setting up a webcam or even a mirrorless or DSLR camera might be complicated for a lot of guests. Now all your guest needs is a Mac and an iPhone and they can get high quality video with the devices they already have. And if you wanna send a tech kit, you really could just send a tripod with an iPhone mount. We'll put a link in the video description to the iPhone Joby tripod. It's about $30, you can send that to your guests, just order it on Amazon, ship it directly to them. And now they're gonna get great quality video with their iPhone. We also have a video with all the different mounting options to use with your iPhone and continuity camera. You can check out that video above or the link in the description. In addition to continuity camera, you can use the Riverside app and add multiple other mobile devices as secondary camera angles during your video recording. So you can use your newest or best iPhone as your continuity camera, the main camera you're using for your A roll. And then any older iPhone, you can install the Riverside app, set up those iPhones as secondary angles and Riverside will record all of those angles in sync and you can download those separate video files later. This is a great way to use older iPhones and even iPad and Android devices for those secondary angles. Continuity camera gives you the high quality A-roll and then all those other mobile devices will give you lots of angles to choose from. If you're doing a video podcast, that's a great way to get multiple camera angles on your co-hosts and guests without purchasing more equipment. And if you're a podcast creator and you were doing audio only shows before and you're considering adding video, Continuity camera is the perfect place to start. Just mount your iPhone and start recording video with Riverside and you have a video component to your podcast automatically. And if you were doing audio only before, Riverside makes it easy to continue doing high quality audio only content. When you're ready to export your recording from Riverside, you can still choose to do an audio only clip, download the uncompressed wave audio files, or export the entire video, set the in and out points, and then it's ready to upload to YouTube in just a few steps. Finally, if you're going to start using your iPhone and continuity camera to make video content, one of the biggest upgrades you can make to your setup without spending a lot of money is getting good lighting. Your iPhone camera will look great even with inexpensive soft lighting. We have an entire video recommending lights at all budget levels. You can check out that video above or in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that bell icon. We have lots of content on troubleshooting continuity camera. If you're having trouble getting it to work, check out this video above, or if you just wanna learn how to set it up, that video is in the description as well. We also have content on equipment recommendations, how to set up a video podcast, and even automating your podcast publishing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.